Yeah, beat your addiction, live free Ralph Freed Ricks is who you see Listen in when you're feeling low Take back your life, today's show Beat your addiction, live free Ralph Freed Ricks is who you see Listen in when you're feeling low Take back your life, today's show Stay positive, hope, and keep faith Stand strong against any odds that you face Put away the alcohol and the drugs Fill your time with the things you love Addiction is tough, but it's worth the work Treat your body what it's worth Spread positivity, inspire all If we stand together, we will never fall I help others see the other sides of life A soul of life, letting go of the strife So give me a call, I can help 1-844-405 Help Homeless shelters, hospitals, jails, wherever you are I am Ralph Friedrichs and I am here for you 1-844-405 Help
Yeah, change your future, it starts today Live life to the fullest, never skip a day Create hope, spread positivity Beat your addictions and negativity Ralph Free Rich is here for you Call today so we can help you 1-844-405-HELP 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 We are here for you Call us today Hello, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am a recovery coach and also the host of the Take Your Life Back Today show. As an addiction recovery coach, I want to share this about substance abuse. And mind you, I want to be crystal clear because I'd like to leave an everlasting impact upon you all. Imagine, just imagine being buried alive. Let's say you're in a coffin, but you also know you're not dead. You don't know how to open the coffin and push the enormous weight of the dirt upon the lid. You think about giving up and just waiting for death to arrive. But you also think, maybe I should start banging on the coffin lid so that maybe I can unsettle the ground above it. And maybe, just maybe, somebody might notice and start digging their way down to help me. This is what it's like to find yourself in the most lowest point of alcohol and drug addiction. You know you need help. You know you can't do it on your, on your own, but you also don't know how to get help. In reality, there are people probably standing right outside your grave, but you just don't know that. You think you're going to die there today. Usually, though, people don't think about death when they're habitually using drugs. In order to feed an addiction, you have to be good at repressing the fear of death. I often ask you, did it ever cross your mind when you were abusing drugs and alcohol that maybe, just maybe, you might overdose. With this, I leave you one other thought. Don't be that person laying in the coffin, banging on the lid, hoping that somebody might hear them to help them. Take the first step today and call me at 844-405-HELP and let me help take your life back for your life is gone. People like Larry Geis from the Geis Academy at 516-458-2741, 516-458-2741 can help you with your addiction, with your recovery, with your depression, with your, uh, with your low self-esteem, with any situation in life. People like Larry Geis from the Geis Academy at 516-458-2741 are waiting, standing by the phone, waiting for your phone call, that phone call saying, Larry... I need help, and I need help today. Make that phone call, or go on the website, uh, go on the internet, and go to his website, www.odysseyconsultant.org, and let Larry Geis from the Geis Academy at 516-458-2741 help you take your life back. Folks, GlobalEyeglasses.com, they are focused on saving you money, and I always tell you I am focused on helping you with your glasses. I want to be able to make sure that you can see my videos properly and incidentally today is my 700th episode. 700 videos I have as of today under my belt. And this is just the beginning of my message coming out there but if you go to www.globaleyeglasses.com you'll be able to get the glasses you desperately need to see clearly so you can witness and see all 700 of my videos and videos to come. They are focused on saving you money. They have over 1,200 frames, men's, ladies, plastic, metal, half and no frame. They have progressive line bifocals, transition lenses, photo, uh, photochromatic lenses, polarization lenses, scratch coating, UV coating, and anti-reflecting coating, all available at GlobalEyeglasses.com. But you need to make that first move and go to www.globaleyeglasses.com. Let them focus on saving you money. Folks, for the 700 video, I'd like to talk about 10 ways to defend yourself against negativity. There's a little difference in people, but their little differences make big differences in how their attitude is. The little difference is the attitude part. The big difference is whether it's either positive or negative attitude. Have you ever met Debbie Downer or negative Nancy or pessimistic Patty? These people can be entrenched in the bad things that are, that 
there isn't any room in, in things to grow in life. They inhabit our families and social uh, circles. It can be emotional draining just being around them, and you must be careful because their attitudes are contagious and can rub off on you. Negativity perpetrates itself, breeds, uh, dissatisfaction and clutters your mind. And when the mind is cluttered with negativity, happiness is much harder to come by. Don't take other people's negativity personally. Most negative people behave negatively, not just uh, to you, but to everyone they interact with. What they say and do is a projection of their own reality, their own attitude. Even when a situation seems personally, even if someone insults you directly, it oftentimes has nothing to do with you. It is just their attitude. Spend more time with positive people is my advice to you. You are, you are the average of the people who spend the most time with. In other words, who you spend time with it. Uh, has a great impact on the person you eventually become. If you're around cynical and negative people all the time, you will become cynical and negative. Does who you are and who you want to be reflect in the company you keep, you think? Start spending time with nice people who are smart, driven, and like-minded like you. Relationships would help you, not hurt you. Surround yourself with people who reflect the person you want to be, not the person they are. Choose friends who are proud to be uh, to know you, people who admire you, who love you and respect you, people who make you you, uh, you and your day a little brighter simply by being in it. Be the positivity you want to see the world to be. Lead by example. I say that all the time. You can't always save the world, but you can make a better place by practicing what you preach. By becoming self-aware, tapping into your compassion and protecting your positive space, doing simple things like talking about positive daily events, common friends, hobbies, happy news, make for light conversations with negative people. Keep the conversations focused on optimistic areas the person can relate to. You can disarm the, their negativity even if it's just for a little while. Change the way you think. The one thing nobody can take away from you is the way you choose to respond to what others say and do to you. The problem isn't the events that are negative. The problem is the way you react to those events. The last of your freedom is to choose your attitude in any given circumstance. Complaining, blaming, and criticizing aren't going to change the situation. It's not going to always be easy to find happiness in ourselves but it's always impossible to find it anywhere else but within yourself. Regardless of the situation you face, your attitude is your choice. Remember, you can't have a positive life with a negative attitude. When negativity controls your thoughts, it limits your behaviors, actions, and opportunities. It is time to make changes. Changes like focus on solutions. Negative people have an endless supply of pity party invitations. Don't RSVP. Oftentimes people use negativity as a barrier to protect themselves from the world, which in turn blocks from the solutions that could improve their life. Instead, identify solutions. Don't dwell too much on what went wrong. Instead, focus on the next positive steps and what is going right. Spend your energy on moving forward toward a positive solution. Remember, when you focus on solutions by thinking and acting positively, sound becomes music, movement becomes dance, smile becomes laughter, and life becomes a huge celebration. Love whoever is around to be loved. Practice acts of kindness. It's a lot harder to be negative when you're in the presence of love and kindness. Be that presence whenever possible. Let your guard down. Talk to someone who don't know straight from your heart, that you don't know straight from your heart. Compliment them. Let them know how you feel about them. Don't anticipate awkwardness. Just be in that beautiful way only you know how to be and give them the chance to smile and connect with you. Sometimes a kind word and some Attention from a friend is all you need to turn a negative to, uh, into a positive situation. Provide support when it makes sense. Some people complain as a way of crying for help. 
they may not be conscious of it though, so their comments come across as negative complaints rather than requests. Show some concern, just a simple, hey, are you okay? Or is there anything I can do to help you? Resist the urge to judge or uh, assume anything. It is hard to offer compassion when you assume you will uh, have to figure them out. Let them know they are not alone and that you are here as a friend. Realize that life is a series of ups and downs. Acknowledge the negativity, accept it, and let it pass through your consciousness, thereby teaching you a lesson but not ruining your day. Life is full of highs and lows, but you don't have to go up or down with them. Stay at the pace that you're at and things will become better. We, we develop from the negatives when we accept them and learn from them. This cycle is all part of human experiences. Relax, let it go, enjoy the ride of life. Concentrate on today. Yesterday is gone. It doesn't matter where you came from. What it matters is today and tomorrow. Too often we carry around things from the past that hurt us. Regrets, shame, anger, pain, etc. Holding on to anger is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. Don't let these negative points from the past rob your present happiness. You have to live through these things in the past and although unfortunate, they can't be changed, but you can learn from them. But if the only place they, are, uh, they live today is in your mind, then let it go, move on, and be happy. Let go and move on when you must. If all fails, remove yourself from the wrong situations and relationships. Some people are like dark clouds. When they disappear, it's a brighter day. No. When it's time to let go, letting go of negative people doesn't mean you hate them. It just means that you care about your own well-being. Every time you subtract negative from your life, you make room for more positive things to happen. It isn't easy to remain positive when negative negativity surrounds you, but remember that you have full control of your attitude. Think of it this way. The entire body of water, the size of Pacific Ocean, can't sink a ship unless it gets inside the ship. Similarly, all the negativity in the world can't bring you down unless you allow it to get inside your head. People who are able to discern the positive points in negative situations are the ones who prosper in the long run. So defend yourself against negativity a negative way and make room for a positive day. There is little difference in people but that little difference makes a big difference. The little difference is attitude. The big difference is whether you let it choose or you choose to let it be negative or positive attitude. Number one is don't take other people's negativity personally. Most negative people have behaved negatively not just to you but to everyone so you just move on. Number two, spend more time with positive people. Good analogy is Two of them is when you eliminate, and I don't mean hate them, and I don't mean to hurt them, but when you elimin eliminate the negativity or the negative people, you're making more room for positive. It's like getting a cloud out of your scene or your everyday life and making more room for sunshine. A negative person will try to fill your head with so much negativity to sink you like a boat can be filled with water in the Pacific Ocean and sink. But a boat can't sink unless the water gets inside as much as the negative thoughts or vibes that these people try to give on. If it gets into your head, they will sink you. Uh, be positively, uh, be the positivity you want to see the world to be. Whatever you picture the world to be, if you picture everyone to be happy, you have to be happy. If you picture everybody to be peaceful, you have to be peaceful. If you want everybody to walk around thumbs up, you need to do that. Start changing the way you think. The one thing nobody can take away from you is to how you choose to respond to what others, other people say and do. Don't take things so personal. Uh, try to always look in the positive in every negative situation. And focus on the solutions. And negative people have an endless supply of pity party invitations. 
don't RSVP to those invitations. Oftentimes people use negativity as a barrier to protect themselves from the world. Walk around, your shoulders pulled back, your chest sticking out, and a smile on your face. Love whoever is around to be loved. Practice acts of kindness. It's a lot harder to be negative when you're in the presence of love and kindness. Be that presence whenever possible. Let your guard down. Talk to someone who who you don't know straight from your heart. Compliment them. Don't anticipate awkwardness. Tell them how you really feel about them in a nice, smiling manner. Provide support when it makes sense. Some people complain as a way of crying for help. They may not be conscious of it, although their comments come across as negative complaints rather than requests. So provide the support when it makes sense. If you see that a person has a chance of you being able to shed some positivity into their life, try to do that. Realize that life is a series of ups and downs. Acknowledge the negativity, accept it, and let it pass through your consciousness, thereby teaching you a lesson but not ruining your day. Concentrate on today. Too often we carry things around from our past. I always say this, folks. doesn't matter where you came from. What matters is today and tomorrow. That is the most important thing. Regret, shame, anger, pain, etc. Holding on to them is not going to change how your today turns out and your tomorrow. Letting go and learning will. Holding on to anger is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. Don't let these negative points from the past rob your present happiness. Please, don't. Let it go. Move on when you must. If all fails, remove yourself from the wrong situations and relationships. Some people are like dark clouds. When they disappear, the day becomes brighter. Know when it's time to let go. Letting go of negative people doesn't mean you hate them. It just means that you care about your well-being and your, and your own happiness more. Every time you subtract negative from your life, you make room for a positive. It isn't easy to remain positive when negativity surrounds you. But remember this, that you have full control of yourself and your attitude. Think of it this way. The entire body of water in the Pacific Ocean can't sink one ship, not even one ship, unless it gets inside the ship as much as all the negativity around you can't affect you unless it gets inside your head. Similarly, all the negativity in the world can't bring you down unless you allow it inside your head. People who are able to discern the positive points in negative situations are the ones who prosper in the long run. So defend yourself against a negative way and make room for a positive. And I, I want to leave this with you one more time. This, this one thing. Uh, don't be that person laying in a coffin, banging on the lid like we discussed in the beginning hoping that somebody hears you because you are being buried alive. Take the first step today. Call me at 844-405-HELP. Call people like Larry Geis from the Geis Academy at 516-458-2741. Let either one of us or any other coach, life coach, addiction recovery coach, help take your life back because let me tell you something, folks. Life is short. Life can go by quick. And if you don't seek the help that you need now, if you don't let me try to help take your life back, or people like Larry Guys try to help take your life back, your life might be gone. Remember, a sober today promises, I tell you, it promises a better tomorrow. Eliminate the positive, I mean the negative in your positive day. Removing all the negative people in your life is like removing the clouds and making your day brighter. Start doing that. I hope to God, no matter where you are watching me, and it could be in your kitchen, your living room, as far as possibly in Europe, or as close as maybe uh, the next town over that has a correction facility in a nursing home or a homeless shelter. No matter where you watch me, I hope to God you have the best day of your life. And I hope and I pray for each and every one to have a sober rest of their life. And may you always keep smiling, eliminate all darkness in your life, eliminate the addictions in your life. Remove those clouds in your life and let your day become brighter. Folks, I hope to God I see you real soon. And may God bless all of you. 
And remember, if you call me at 844-405-HELP, I will help you take your life back. Yeah, change your future, it starts today Live life to the fullest, never skip a day Create hope, spread positivity Beat your addictions and negativity Ralph Friedrich is here for you Call today so we can help you 1-844-405-HELP 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 We are here for you Call us today Thank mm -hmm. you.
The show is over, but your life starts today Taking back your life's the only way Keep faith, stay positive, push through Take back your life, it starts with you Alcohol and drugs can't control your life Let go of the negative and the strife Ralph Free Rick is the man guiding your way The show is over, but your life starts today Call Ralph Friedrich at 1-844-405-HELP. That's 1-844-405-HELP. We hope you love the show today and tune in next time. Take back your life today show with Ralph Friedrich. Yeah.